Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm an attorney with Goldman & Associates. Today we're going to be continuing our video series, a very informative legal topics on family law. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel. Today we're going to discuss the difference between legal separation and divorce. Legal separation and divorce is a very interesting topic because there is not so much of a difference in the process in getting legal separation versus getting divorced. Some people will call up and say, oh, I don't really want a divorce. I don't want all that. I just want to get a legal separation or what lawyers call separate maintenance. What they don't realize is to get separate maintenance, to get legal separation, you've got to file pleading with the court, you've got to serve the other side, you've got to make all the determinations regarding custody, visitation, support, you've got to divide up assets, you've got to divide up liability, you've got to deal with issues of whether or not there's going to be some sort of spousal support or something like that. All the issues that have to be dealt with in a divorce, you've got to deal with those in a legal separation. So if that's the case, what is the difference? The difference is that when it's all said and done in a divorce, the very next day you can go and remarry. When it's all said and done in a legal separation, the very next day you're still married to the first guy. So, so why would somebody do that? Well, it's a good question. There's less and less, and less reasons to do that. Uh, a lot of times, for example, it's done for religious reasons. Um, perhaps your uh, organized uh, faith uh, does not support a divorce. Uh, the church frowns upon people getting divorced, so people might get a separation instead because they feel it's religiously unwholesome to do otherwise. Um, that's one reason. Another reason used to be, it's not so much anymore, but people who had health conditions would be able to maintain their spouse's health insurance that might cover them in a separation, but not in a divorce. So they would file a complaint for separate maintenance, they would separate everything, and they would live their lives like that, just so the person could maintain health insurance. Now, a lot of the health carriers have grown wise to that. They now um, uh, specify that you can't maintain the coverage in a divorce or a separation, so sometimes that won't necessarily work out. But those were the main reasons that we used to see for someone to pursue separate maintenance. And you need to be aware that even if you start a case pursuing a legal separation or separate maintenance, the other side has the right to file a counterclaim seeking divorce. So then all your maneuvering to ha not have a divorce but have a separation could be defeated by the tactics of the other side. So that's something you have to keep in mind. If you have any questions about that, reach out and of course we'll be glad to help you out.